you can build an IoT project and take control of it on your phone using Adafruit's Whippersnapper. IoT projects just got a whole lot easier. With Adafruit's Whippersnapper, you can connect I2C sensors and do useful things with your data. Capture temperature data to detect the humidity in a room so it can trigger a smart outlet and turn on a humidifier. Adafruit's Cutie Pie ESP32-S2 is a small yet powerful IoT dev board that works great with Whippersnapper. Whippersnapper is Adafruit's no-code solution for making IoT projects with support for dozens of Wi-Fi-enabled dev boards. Dozens of IoT dev boards are supported and can be easily configured without having to install software or write any code. Now with support for Adafruit Stemma QT sensors, you can daisy chain multiple boards together for a plug and play experience. With dozens of Stemma QT sensors, you can detect light, temperature, humidity, pressure, and the air quality, just to name a few. You can 3D print a snap fit case to house your sensors and use the mounting holes to secure everything together. Make it portable with a USB battery bank and start plotting your data on the go. Setting up Whippersnapper has gotten even better. Start by choosing your dev board or just type it in the search box. There's lots of new ESP32 based boards to choose from. Access your boards in the new devices page and quickly see their status and firmware. You can even update them by clicking on the update firmware link. Updating your devices now features an easy to follow wizard that walks you through each step. Just follow along to download the firmware and install it by dragging and dropping it onto your board. Add your Wi-Fi credentials to automatically generate the secrets JSON file needed for connecting your board to your network. Upload it to your dev board just like dragging and dropping a file to a USB flash drive. The LEDs on your device uses different colors to indicate their status so you can easily tell what's going on. You can add components to your device by clicking on the large plus icon. Choose from a list of basic pin components or the new I2C Stemma sensors. Whippersnapper will automatically scan for connected components and let you enable features. The SCD30 sensor has temperature, humidity, and CO2 levels. You can set how often to read the data using the drop-down menu. Creating components automatically creates feeds and stores your data so you can start logging and plotting. Make beautiful dashboards to display your data using line charts, gauges, and other blocks. You can customize their appearance with the Edit Layout feature to resize or rearrange them however you like. Dashboards work great even on mobile devices, so you can customize them when you're on the go. Create a new timer action to make a feed turn something on for a set amount of time and then turn it off automatically. In this example, we're turning on a dehumidifier connected to a smart outlet whenever the sensor detects the humidity in the room is too high. More fun features have been added to Whippersnapper like the ability to use emojis in your titles. We think this is a great way to tell your dashboards apart. We've also added the ability to change the icons and the various labels when configuring your components. Whippersnapper is free when using two devices with a limit of 10 feeds. To unlock more devices and feeds, you can upgrade to an Adafruit IO Plus plan. Just head on over to io.adafruit.com to get started. We hope this inspires you to check out the latest features in Adafruit's Whippersnapper and start making IoT projects. <laughs>